Hello. So I had another um, I had another couple EMDR sessions, um, and uh, I I realized that I started um, to feel some sadness from um, that had nothing to do. Like I was working on like COVID or pandemic blues, I guess if you want to call it that. Um, depression, <laughs> trauma, whatever, um, bullshit. <laughs> and, uh, uh, while I was working through that, I started to find that it, my stress, anxiety, depression, sadness, what have you, um, actually stemmed from, is actually kind of being drawn from my past trauma. So that was fun. Um, so I, so I started working on that. I like shifted some of that energy to just like, I really started feeling really depressed and sad, like real, just very sad, not even just depressed, just really, really tender, really raw, really, really sad. Um, and I took, I took myself on like a little retreat over the weekend, um, which I highly recommend doing if you're going through some stuff. It's just kind of good to get a little bit of space um, for your mind. And um, I I went just camping kind of by myself with a couple other friends, but they weren't, we were kind of giving each other space and some, you know, distance um, for multiple reasons. So uh, I found that after working through um, my last session that, so there's the sadness there and, um, you know, giving myself that space kind of allowed for it to, I guess, kind of surface a little bit more, which was, which kind of might sound like, why the hell would you want that? Um, it was really, really helpful. So I had a hard night the first night. I, you know, went into my tent. I made, pitched my tent by myself, went, went into the tent and closed up the tent and then instantly had like a trauma moment of just like, oh my gosh, this sucks really bad. Like I started having some memories and just feeling paralyzed in fear. Like I couldn't, I couldn't leave to get help or because I was too afraid to leave, but then I was too afraid to stay. So I was just like really, really having a difficult time and really feeling sad for the first time about it, like just the, all the emotions about it. So I had a really hard time. Um, so I, I don't know how <laughs> I just kind of worked through it. Um, I took, I was kind of practicing some breathing exercises where you, you breathe in for three and kind of hold it and then breathe out for six. I know it sounds so like, how does that work? Why would that work? But I can't tell you that like saved my life. <laughs> through that time. So I was really able to do that. Um, and then, um, I listened to some like meditation podcast that was helpful and I'll post that in my, in the description here. Um, I'm also going to post, some people were asking me about like links to, or looking for EMDR online. I'm going to post some stuff that, you know, um, that I found and, just to, to, that hopefully will be helpful to you um, if you're interested in EMDR. So anyways, I got through it. Needless to say, it was rough. It was hard. I was waking up, at, I, like I was hardly sleeping. I was just hearing every single sound outside my tent. Like everything was just really, really apparent around me. Um, just hyper vigilant. But once I woke up in the morning and I got out of my tent and I looked around me, and saw like how beautiful it was. I was right in front of this beautiful pond and kind of secluded. And it was just like, wow, there's really nothing to be so hyped about. I'm really, I'm okay. I'm safe. Things aren't happening now. So, um, and you know, I worked through a lot over the weekend. I, it was a lot of alone time sitting with myself and kind of meditating and just you know, I went through like a meditation, a gong meditation, which was really, really cool. It was really healing. Um, but yeah, I have, I feel like I'm, I'm start, I'm working through some of that, that raw emotion and I don't feel so, um, um, 
overcome by it, I guess. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're still kind of focusing on COVID stuff or COVID um, trauma. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> Crisis. <laughs> so we're not like really targeting past memories just yet, but I think we're going to start next week. So I'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> so this shit's not easy at all. Not none of it, none of it, even the stuff doing like now, none of it's easy, but you know, the one thing I've learned about that when it comes to like self care and therapy, whatnot, um, is that it's not supposed to be easy. If it were easy, we would never appreciate it. We would never appreciate, um, the work that we'll, we, we would never appreciate what we have and we would never appreciate, pr appreciate ourselves because, um, we would just take everything for granted. We would take for granted the, um, the times of just complete peace and contentment we would take for granted, um, our, ourselves because we, uh, what do we work when you work for something, you, you learn to really, really like value yourself. And that's what I found in, you know, working on all of this stuff for such a long period of time. Um, so I know it's worth it and you just got to stick it out. I don't know. There, there can be comfort throughout, throughout the process. You just have to find those little pockets and you're just staying with it no matter what. And really finding the coping tools. Like I'm finally feeling like I'm back into a meditation practice right now, which is really, really the one thing that keeps me grounded and keeps me sane and, um, just uh balanced so i got back into that and and yoga so i i highly encourage you to find something like that especially if you're going to be doing a emdr it's important to like have like enough coping tools because it can be really really heavy make sure you have a good support system so so yeah that's all i have for you um good luck to you stay strong um, if you have any questions or want to just chat or if you have other ideas um, of how you know you can make this process um, just more doable <laughs> um, I would love to hear your thoughts concerns all of it so thank you for listening um, please like share subscribe and again um, I'm gonna be putting like some uh, links in my in the description for this video for you so awesome all right see you next time